You've seen me fly in this Cessna 172 and this 152, but you have yet to see the 1977 Mooney M20J that I am taking around the eastern half of America. So without further ado, let's hop in the airplane that we're going to be spending 25 hours in and give you a little tour. That video is coming up right now. So unfortunately, before I start this video, I do have some sad news, and I have to announce that we recently lost our good friend Skip. If you don't know Skip, I'll start playing the video that he is most known for on this channel, and it is by far my favorite video I've ever made, and according to you guys, it's your favorite as well. Skip was a guy who took me into the aviation industry as soon as I started my flying, and I owe a lot to him because I know that without him, introducing me to everybody at the airport and bringing me in as he did that I wouldn't be where I am today. So I'm very grateful for Skip and his generosity and I'm going to play a little clip now. So this video is for you, Skip. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, Skip's flying, not me. Tower block at 207. Taking a look inside the airplane, I have really enjoyed this panel layout flying this airplane in the last few months. I'll give you a little tour of it. We have our traditional six-pack airspeed attitude altimeter and backup attitude indicator. We then have our turn coordinator, heading coordinator, vertical speed indicator, and our VOR receiver. Right under that is where all of our lights, pitot heat, boost pump, and where we control if we want to use electric trim or if we want to use the manual trim. And over there is our master and our avionics master. On the yoke here, we have our autopilot disconnect and our electric trim and push to talk is behind the yoke. Down here, that is our manual gear extension, which is what we would use in the case of an emergency where our gear would not come down electronically. So at the top of the panel, we have our engine gauges, which pretty self-explanatory shows us the condition of our engine. Engine monitor, which is super nice and helps a lot while you're leaning at cruise, something that student pilots get a little nervous about. Now, this is where our enunciator lights are, our test, our suction, and this is all our comms, autopilot, and navigation transponder and backup radios. This is where our flaps are. Now, one of the biggest things while getting used to this airplane has been the use of these flaps because this switch isn't spring loaded. You click it down and then you have to click it back up and you can only see the condition of the flaps down here where it says flaps up, take off and full down. So that is why YouTubers like Aviation 101 and myself 
call out 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000. And that's because we're counting the flaps so that we know how many degrees of flaps are down. So if you ever are curious what why I'm doing that, when I start uploading videos in the airplane, then that is why. So moving over here, we have our tachometer and our fuel pressure gauges down here. This is all of our circuit breakers and up here is our EGT cockpit lights and that kind of concludes the tour of the cockpit so now i'll show you a few other features that this airplane has one of my favorite features about flying the mooney and about flying a low wing in general has been fueling the airplane it is so much easier to just simply go down be right at waist level with the wing and be able to open up the fuel cap and not have to climb up on a wing and then do that again once you sump the fuel tanks so that is definitely a pro and something i like but a con is definitely getting in the airplane because as opposed to a high wing this airplane is a little more trickier because you got to hop up on there and kind of sink down into the hole as we call it now, one thing that I have noticed while flying the Mooney and learning about them, reading about them, and being in Facebook groups is that there's really only two types of people, people who love the airplane and people who hate the airplane. I haven't really seen anybody who talks modestly about it. It's really, I'm absolutely all about this plane, or I really don't like it at all. Now, for me, I have enjoyed every moment of flying it. It's been super fun. It's nice to be able to get places at a quicker pace and not have to be bogged down by winds and all the things that come along with flying trainers. Well, there are pros and cons to this plane, just like every other airplane you'll ever fly. It's been a dream and I'm excited to share with you the experience that we have on this flight, Loop for the Troops. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that is the charity flight that I'm doing in just two and a half weeks on April 8th. I'm departing Binghamton and flying a loop around the eastern half of America to raise money for the nonprofit Hope for the Warriors. I'll link that website in the first link in the description below, so make sure to go check that out. With that being said, that concludes this week's video. So if you enjoyed taking a walk around the Mooney, checking it out, and seeing what we're going to be spending about a week in during our flight, then make sure to go down below, click that like button, drop a comment, and tell me what I could do better next time. And if you really enjoy the content, then make sure to click subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss another upload. Until next week, I want you to stay current, stay proficient, keep the blue side up, keep flying safe, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.